Hello, hello. I am going to be showing you how to do um, make your blades, but out of a plastic bottle this time. So you might notice that it spins differently, better or worse. That's a decision you're going to have to make and see how it works for you. But this is what it's going to look like. So first what you need is a plastic bottle. So here's what I got. The very first step I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the lid and um, I have been warming up my hot glue gun. I'm not going to use it as a hot glue gun right now. In fact, I'm going to try to take off some of the hot glue that's just coming out of it. I'm just going to use it for the heat. So I have this and I also have my nail. So you should have all gotten a nail in your kit. This works pretty well. If you don't have a nail, it's not the end of the world. You can use a pen. You also can just do it with the hot glue gun. It just takes a little bit more time. So what I'm going to do is on the front of the lid, I'm going to just push pretty hard into the center so that the heat makes hole through the center. So I'm just going to keep pressing until I feel like it's really going in. So I'm going to press for a while. I'm pressing kind of hard to get it in there. As centered as you can is more centered is better. It's going to be all wobbly if it's not centered. So you want it to be pretty in the middle. I'm going to try it, and I'm in, and now I'm going to put my nail in, and get it all the way through. So and if it's still hard, I can go back and put the hot glue gun back in for longer. Just making that hole, and then I can put the nail back in, and you can see I've made a hole. So I'm going to move it around a good amount, make sure it's nice and smooth in there before it cools down because it's been heated up. So I want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm just moving my nail around in there. Again, if you don't have a nail, pen works. You could just use the heat of the glue gun itself, but the nail works pretty well. Okay, next I'm going to get my bottle. So I'll put the hot glue to the side. And what I need, if you notice, um, I'm going to be attaching everything. So I cut the bottle about in half. So I'm going to cut this bottle in about half. I'm just using my scissors. I'm opening them up and I'm just kind of sawing. And once I've sawed through, I can actually get the scissors in there and start cutting. And I'm just going to cut in a circle. Now I've got a circle. If you need to clean it up, you can cut it a little bit more down, but mine seems to be okay. Next, I'm going to cut the blades, so I'm going to cut down. You can decide how many to do, right? So based on your previous experiments, you should know how many blades you want to do. Um, I'm just showing you in general, so I'm just putting a lot in, but you should have a number in mind. So careful, don't cut yourself. Next I'm going to pull these back, so I'm just going to move each one back so that it kind of snaps out so that I've got a nice more flattened the better. I can also do something like this to like really get it nice and flat. You can see it's still popping back up, so I'm just going to move it back until I can get it to stay flat. And it eventually gets there. The last thing I need to do is I need to attach this to my motor. So make sure that you're attaching it so that this part is out so that you can screw in your blade, right? So 
the lid is out. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of space back here. And on this side, I'm going to get a lot of hot glue so that it's attaching the cap to the motor. Actually, okay. I'm putting a good amount of glue in there. That's it. Let it cool down. You can see mine is not perfectly centered. It'd be better if it was more centered. And once it cools down, So once the glue is cooled down, you can see that it's able to turn the middle part of the motor right there. Now you can attach it. And it should be able to go pretty fast.